If you were an early career professional in this industry, how would you think of making the most out of it for your career? In my mind, we're still in the pretty early stages of how we would use any kind of AI for help with software development or really for help with anything. I think at this point in time, the lessons I feel like I've learned are the more guardrails you put in place, the better result you're going to get. There was a funny LinkedIn post yesterday from somebody who said the learnings about using AI and software are you got to be really clear about your requirements. You got to really define your test case as well. You've got to define all the exception cases really well. And the gist of it was, huh, this just sounds like good software development <laughs> fundamentals. And only we are now AI is the thing that's finally after 75 years forcing us to do this. And maybe it hasn't been 75 years. So, I mean, I think that that's funny, but it's also true. One of the things that I think is true of software developers is developers are so tech oriented. If you give them a tool to do something, that works a lot better than giving them some rules or guidelines. And so if AI is a tool and now to get the tool to work, you've got to go through these software fundamentals. Maybe that is the thing that finally makes that happen. But my other feeling about it is that I think writing the gold path or the happy path through the code has always been the easy part of coding and understanding which exception cases did I forget about or was I unaware of or did the requirements never capture in the first place. Fred Brooks published a paper called No Silver Bullets and he talks about the difference yep. between accidental complexity and essential complexity. And a lot of the essential complexity comes from the real world because the real world is messy. And to the degree that AI isn't 100% lined up with the messiness of the real world, then the programmer job of being the party that fully vets all of the exception cases and the corner cases and the off by ones and so on, that's the other thing that's concerning is I still think AI can't count. And uh, so off by one errors seem like they're just probably 